Well, you got Miami, Miami Vice, you know, Fireman Marshal Bill dude. Here comes the white van. But to knock me out again. And this not be in my ashtray, but in my bed. I only took two medicines. They do not act like that. I used to be able to stay awake right there in my tent till 4 in the morning. 148. You know, the same white truck that I saw pull up around the corner at the other house had a number on the back too I think it was like 147 or 146 I can't remember what I said but I said it in a video as I was walking doesn't matter if everything comes to a crash and halt oh now it's just gonna be open before it was pulled closed. Doesn't matter if it comes to a crash and halt or not. You, you, you tortured me for two fucking years. Caused brain damage or brain trauma as the doctor put it. Brain trauma. Had me fall down the steps. Charged me to live in an inhabitable living space. Said, oh we'll fix it. Never did. destroyed hundreds and then threw away thousands of dollars worth of shit ten rare pet shops from the beginning when they first came out sell on ebay look them up 250 oh look then we got him pulled over with his light on that must make two of them. I mean, just ten of them. There were 250, 300 pet shops in that container. And then a bunch of loose ones just strewn about. But the important ones were in that plastic tote. There's the guy that speeds off all the time. How you doing there, guy? He don't even want to shake it out his head at me and shit. It's more like, uh, I think it's time to go. See? I can film what I want, bro. I'm outside. You don't like it? Don't come outside. That's my first amendment. This is a public street right here. Hold on, let me back up. This is a public ass street. I can film anything, anyone. Doesn't matter. You outside, you can be filmed. Inside is where the law violates. If you're inside somebody's shit and you're videotaping them, that's where the law, you know, says you can't do it. That's where the law says you cannot place hidden cameras. Microphones is better than cameras because you put in a mic, you're violating the wiretap law. So none of that really matters, does it? Now my one daughter either jumped up to go think that, oh well, I'll be able to buy something that she's not supposed to buy with her money.
to just say she has said money, for which she'd be a moron to do. I mean, why else would the the van with the the number on the back pull up, honk the horn? And then pull back out. All while I'm still recording. Hey, and there's extra people in the back of that bitch. There was actually people in the second or third row. 148. And then you got the blue pickup truck sitting down there on the end. Look like he's getting ready to pull out. Also. But I'm not so much worried about the, 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 you know, the neighbors. Unless they were the ones that violated my space and came in in the middle of the night. Then that's the issue. I mean, just because I left the email that no one should have been reading but me. To a place where a polygraph test. That white van pulled up that had two people. A driver and a passenger. When it left. Well, when it left it had a... Uh, minimum of four or more occupants see this is why I'm like 15 foot away from that little tiny bunny don't bother them They don't bother you. But I mean, I do take great offense to being electrocuted or hit with frequencies and knocked out two three times a day to where I can't get shit done and you know miss church completely on my sabbath for which is 